Gone are the days of free roaming livestock. The West is becoming more settled, and with this comes the need for fences. While fences are a necessity for livestock producers, they can be problematic barriers for wildlife that still roam free. Five strand barbed wire, woven wire, and tall fences become barriers, causing wildlife to risk being caught in a fence or travel long distances to find a way around. If you're considering building or converting a fence to one that is more wildlife friendly, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department wrote a bulletin on fencing guidelines for wildlife. In general, fences should not exceed a height of 45 inches and the bottom wire should be at least 16 inches off the ground. This allows for passage over by species such as deer and elk and movement under for pronghorn. In addition, there should be at least 10 inches between top and second wire to prevent legs from being tangled when jumping over the fence. In areas where there is a high concentration of elk, a wooden top rail can be added to increase visibility and reduce fence maintenance. In deep snow areas, you may come across a letdown fence. With the conversion of fences to those that are more wildlife friendly, big game animals will be able to complete their migration routes and continue to roam free across the West. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Mae Smith, exploring the nature of Wyoming. Music